This is the surgical technique for the new Ahmed ClearPath glaucoma drainage device. In contrast to the Ahmed glaucoma valve, the Ahmed ClearPath is a non-valved tube shunt device. Both models come packaged with a pre-placed ripcord suture which can be removed depending on surgeon preference. A couple of nice features of the device are the flexibility of the plate and its curvature which really seems to follow the contour of the globe to facilitate implantation. But perhaps the most useful improvement is the anterior placement of the fixation holes which really facilitate fixation of the device. The procedure begins as per standard tube shunt implantation. A corneal traction suture is placed exposing the desired quadrant of implantation. A conjunctival pyridomy is then dissected at the limbus and extended posteriorly with two relaxing incisions. And blunt tip scissors are used to widely dissect the quadrant of implantation. You can see the ease in which it's implanted between um, the muscles. In this case, we're using muscle hooks. However, it's not required for implantation. The anterior portion of the tube should be fixated approximately six to eight millimeters posterior from the limbus, so a little more anterior than your traditional tube shunt. The device is anchored to sclera using 80 nylon sutures. And for many surgeons, this is the most difficult portion of the uh, procedure due to the exposure and the posterior placement of these suture holes. However, a major advancement here is the anterior extension of these suture holes and the low profile of the device that allows for ease in, in fixation. Because it's a non-valve device, we're ligating the tube close to the plate using a 7-0 vicral suture. This should dissolve at approximately six weeks post-op, allowing flow once a capsule has formed around the plate of the device. Again, the packaged ripcord suture could also be used here if desired. Once the ligature is in place, we're cannulating the tube and flushing it with BSS, just ensuring no flow. The tube is then trimmed in the usual fashion here with a posterior bevel for sulcus placement. The sulcus is deepened with viscoelastic. And then a 23 gauge needle, which actually comes packaged with this device, is used to make a needle sclerostomy into the desired location here, the sulcus. And then tying forceps are used to feed the tube through that sclerotomy with the position confirmed in the sulcus. The tube is then secured in the typical fashion using suture to the sclera. A patch graft of surgeon preference is then secured over the anterior portion of the tube using glue or suture. And the conjunctiva is finally reapproximated in the usual fashion, in this case using fibrin glue to reapproximate the tissue. And finally, viscoelastic is removed.